All right, Shalom, 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 another GMS on the go in the news. Back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith of God. So people here for a better, here for a better, another GMS on the go in the news. <laughs> I know this is going to be a funny one. <laughs> Through the spirit of yeah, Yahweh, but Shemesh, it's deadly serious, but at the same time, man, the Lord, you know what I'm saying, say he's going to make mockery of you people. He says he's going to mock when your fear come. All kind of judges have been going forth. Since the so-called beginning of the so-called new year, 2023, the hopeful year that all these prophecies come to pass, man. So we're going to we're going to see more judgments. All right. We're going to see things getting more mandated. We're going to see the digital system. A gradualism, Israel. They're not just going to throw it in your face like that. Gradualism. They're going to get you used to certain things. You see, and then they're going to they're going to edge it in. You know what I'm saying? Just slide it in there slowly, but surely we're meaning that see here. See that that digital currency, which which is something being inserted into you, and you ain't got to believe. But nonetheless, we're gonna hop right into it. And Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and they're the Americans are edified, right? We're gonna hop right into it. Let's see here. Let's, let's just go here first. In the news, remember now. In the news, we're gonna, we're gonna see. I didn't even have a chance to look up anything, but we're gonna we're gonna just we're gonna go and make it do what it do, you know. We'll make it do what it do. Let's see. Let's see. We're gonna make it do what it do. Just bear with me. That's what I'm saying. The Lord is starting to apply that pressure, man. All right. That Isaiah 33 and 6. We're gonna really realize how important it truly is to have it. To have this knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. Now we're about to really find out how truly important it is. See, the majority of the Israelites, they're ignoring the word. See, but when that Amos 8 and 11 kick in, they're going to bug the hell out. Through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, starting out with the head apostles, slash elder bishops, the great millstone. We've been telling you this for years. Get this word. Get, get it while they're getting this good. Because look at this right here. Look at this right here, the wicker vessel. Look, look what happened, that woman. Woman 27 took her own life after struggling to pay for food and rent. See, see, this is freedom right here. This is what independency promotes. This is the this is the end results of being independent. Hope you Israelite women out there paying attention to what's really going on. This is the end results of you saying you independent. What is that? I N D E T. What the hell did that mean? And all that other nonsense, right? This is the end results of it, man. See, the Lord is starting to apply that pressure, man. Woman 27 took her own life. Well, I wonder why. You're strong. You're independent. Remember, hear me roar. Remember that? Hear me roar. You know what I'm saying? You got your, you're on a picture with your um, arm bent, you know what I'm saying? Showing your muscles and all that. But, but really inside, you're cracking. You're cracking under pressure, all right? The Lord applying that pressure, man. And pressure busts pipes, and this one of them pipes that burst. You see, matter of fact, let's, let's just get let's just get the Isaiah. We'll come right back to that in the news. You see, people struggling like hell paying that rent because the average woman she has to live in luxury. You see, all, all you women have been fooled. You you fell for sleazy, you fell for the serpent bullshit, man. And now look, look at the end results of it, man. You see. She, she deleted herself because she couldn't pay for food and rent. Shit, we can't pay for food and rent. We go out there and do an honest hustle and make that money and get something to eat. Oh, yeah, but they got to be eating filet mignon. They got to live in the best neighborhoods. Can't just live in a regular neighborhood. Now they got to live in the finest neighborhoods where they rent. Just went over that a couple of days ago. How the, how the average woman rent has to be over $2,000, $3,000 and then, you know, so I can brag about, you know what I'm saying, how, how good I'm doing, but but really doing bad and dead like hell. And the majority of these people, when you when you ride past the cities or you're on the bus or what have you, and you see them sheriff wants, the average people that's getting them sheriff wants put on their doors is women, man. All right? Isaiah, because what would it say? She that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth, man. All right? Let's get this, though. Isaiah 33 and 6. Look, we say this all the time. 
The knowledge, wisdom, under the script. Let the scripture speak. Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge of the Bible shall be the stability of thy times. What's going to keep us stable when all hell breaks loose? What's going to keep us stable when we can't pay rent? What's going to keep us stable when we can't pay the light bill? What's going to keep us stable when we can't put food on the table? The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. Because the Lord said, look, look, my servants are going to eat. I guess she wasn't serving the Lord. Because the Lord said, look, my servants are going to eat. The servants of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, man and women, we're going to eat, man. If it's the Lord's will, we continue to do what is pleasing in the eyes of the Lord. That's the Lord said he's taking pleasure in those that fear him. That lady didn't fear the Lord. So she wasn't fed. Did remember, remember, and I know, I'm, I'm, matter of fact, this, this should get some more scriptures. Isaiah 33 and 6, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. This, this word is what keeps us strong. What the scripture say, in thy word do we hope. You, that goes into the book of Psalms. I think it's what, Psalms um, 124. And in his word do if we hope. The fear of the Lord is his trust. Let's just get that right quick. I think that's it. Let me, let me just see if it's it. Psalms chapter 124. Let's just go here. That woman off to herself because she couldn't pay the rent. Ran, ran off all the good men, the decent men that she had. What is it? Uh, Psalms chapter 124. Let's see. Is that it? Um, let's see. Well, I, I read this right here. And then I get the other one. I think it's Psalms 130. 130 something. But let's read this though, because that's the spirit. Psalms 124 and 8. Our help is in the name of the Lord. All caps, the most high Yahweh, though his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. That's our help. When the dark and dark it gets here in Babylon and throughout the four corners of the earth, the name of the Lord. Now we're starting to truly realize how powerful and how strong that name is. The proper name in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Now we're starting to get it now because that name moves mountains, man. That thing makes things happen in our life for the good. That lady didn't have nobody called. Look, look, she called on Buddha. B Buddha didn't help her. She looked like a goop. She, 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 could, she very well could be an Israelite. But whoever she was praying to let her down because they're idols. All right, Buddha ain't real. Santa Maria ain't real. Allah ain't real. The, the Kemet gods ain't real. All that nonsense ain't none of it real. And when the, when the Lord start applying that pressure, you find out that who, who you was praying to won't real at all. All right, just an idol. Psalms 124 and 8, our help is in the name of the Lord. All caps, the most high Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Not Yahshua, not Yahweh. You see? You Israelites should know the name by now, but, but keep playing on. You're going to end up just like that goop. You're going to end up just like that goop. The Lord's going to apply that pressure, man. Who made heaven and earth, man. All right? Let's get, that, let's get that other one. Let's get that other one. In his word, do I hope? Let's see. Bear with me. Ain't, ain't nothing rehearsed in his word. Bear with me. Do I hope the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Our help is in the name of the Lord. We find ourselves in dire straits. We call on the Lord. Amen. But even before then, you see, you don't wait to all hell break loose. Oh, here, here we go. Yeah, Psalms 130. There we go. Psalm chapter 130, verse 5. I wait for the Lord. You see, that, that's what we're doing. Just sitting back waiting. Bringing out the word, doing videos, hitting the highways and byways, just waiting on the Lord, doing our part until you come. My soul do await, and in his word do I hope. In the words of the Lord, the King James Version of the Bible that I'm reading right now, this is what we hope in. We're prisoners of hope. See, this woman right here, she didn't have no hope. This woman right here, she didn't have no hope, Israel. She didn't have no hope. You see? Because everything she put her trust in, let her down. Her job, it let her down. Her career, it let her down. Her um, the uh, college degrees. You see? It all failed her, man. At the end of the day, it's all going to fail you, Israel. And the only thing that's going to keep you stable is Isaiah 33 and 6. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, right? Matter of fact, let's just get another scripture. Let's just get another scripture. 
Let's go to James right quick. In the news, let's just go to James right quick. Now the Lord is starting to apply that pressure. See, that's the result of being independent. Now, if she had a man, she wouldn't have had to do all that. She wouldn't have had to offer herself. If she had a man, especially a man of the Lord, it's too late for her. It's too late for her. Will it be too late for the majority of you Israelite women? Look, look, it, may, it might be, though, right? It might be, James, because the Lord is about to apply that pressure. And that pressure, and you women out there, y'all going to lose it, man. You're going to lose it. James chapter 1, verse 24, 21. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word. It's all about this word, receiving this word, this blessed word, which is able to save your soul. And, and it'll keep you stable. We read earlier, and it'll keep you stable. That woman didn't have that word, you know what I'm saying? So she was unstable. Let's get this, Sirach. Sirach chapter 11. Let's just get that right quick. Because the Lord is controlling all things. She couldn't buy food and she couldn't pay her rent. I wonder who was controlling all that. Sirach chapter 11. Also known as Ecclesiastes in the Apocrypha. Chapter 11 verse 14. Let's just blow it up. Prosperity. See how deadly serious is getting Israel? See how deadly serious? See how, see how fast a date can change your whole life? It only, it only takes a day to change your whole life. You see? Turn it upside down quick, man. When one day you're living lavishly in your 3000 a month apartment, you know what I'm saying, with your feet cocked up eating Baskin and Robbins, you know what I'm saying, 24 um, different flavors, ice cream, the next thing you know, you, you, you're offering yourself because you can't buy food and pay rent. See how fast things change? Things change overnight, man, all right? Remember, this is not our rest. Babylon, a.k.a. America, the land of confusion, is not our rest, man, all right? Sirach 11 and 14, prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. And one I almost definitely want to get this because I mentioned that lady probably was praying to Allah. She was probably, she was probably praying. Who the hell knows who she was praying? She was probably pr praying to Buddha. You know, I can see her praying to Buddha. Which, look, which is an idol. And you Israelites out there, you had the Israelite man and woman still calling on Allah. They still think they Muslims. You look crazy as hell. You see? You look crazy as hell. Our lives not going to save you when it, when it pop off. Psalms 96. Psalms chapter 96 verse 4. And it reads, For the Lord Yahweh is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idol. Once again, Buddha, Allah, Santa Maria, the Hindu God of Shiva, JC, Jesus Christ is an idol. You got, you, got, you got that alphabet group, Barney, the purple wearers, still calling on God and Christ blessed. When that's an idol, man, all right? For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, made the heavens, man, all right? And anytime you don't honor Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, this is what happens. You crack under pressure. Once again, woman 27 took her own life out of struggling to pay for food and rent. You see, let's, let's read on though. An intelligent, dedicated woman. She, she won't that intelligent. She won't that intelligent. She didn't seek Yahweh by Shimei or Shai. This, look, look, and the phone chimed in. This, look, and, look, and the other phone chimed in. And then the other phone chimed in. And that phone chimed in. And that phone chimed in. And that phone chimed in. She won't that intelligent. Let's get a scripture. Let's get a scripture. She won't that intelligent. Tell me she was intelligent. Look, look, I can't tell. I look, I can't tell Proverbs chapter one. This, this is when you know you got some type of intelligence. This scripture right here will let you know if you got any type of intelligence in your brain. Proverbs chapter one, verse seven. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. That's when you can say you got some type of intelligence when you fear the Lord. You see? But fools despise wisdom and assurance. So they're going to always throw that in there. She didn't have no type of intelligence. If she was intelligent, she would have found out how to get her some food. She would have found out how to pay that rent. She wouldn't have offed herself. You won't dead intelligent. An intelligent, dedicated woman took her own life after she struggled to afford rent and buy food. No shit, Sherlock. You, she didn't have a man. The Lord doing away with all that nonsense, all that independent nonsense that you women ate. But look, just went through that last night. This, this went, and here we go. The next day. It don't take that long. It don't take that long for you to find yourself knee deep in the shit. It don't take that long. And rent coming up in a couple of days. Do you got your rent? 
And, and she like other women. You know what I'm saying? And you know, you know she was spending money on BS. Look at her. She won't dead intelligent. I, I, I'm gonna blow her face up. She ain't, she ain't, look, she don't look that intelligent to me. You see? She should have got that teeth fixed, you know what I'm saying? It's hanging over her lip. But nonetheless, though, you see? She, look, she wanted to be independent too. She was staying by herself. She said she couldn't pay the rent. You see? Wong Fong Long, Yi King Ho. You look like Ho, a Ho now. Known as Fion to, to loved ones, came to London from Hong Kong. You should have stayed there. You should have stayed there. You would you, you would have had better morals and you would have been surrounded by your family. In April 2022, the 27-year-old moved into a flat in Richmond and what her family hoped was an exciting new chapter in her life. Look, look, one thing about marrying a marrying a man or nothing. You see, is the scripture saying, let the younger women marry and guide the house. But no, they gathering abroad, going from this country to that country, just gathering abroad, careless as hell, going from country to country, make, making a hard life for themselves when they can be somewhere sitting comfortable. You women make it hard on your own self, man. Look, look, in a quest. But brother Tommy, Yo Wang Hong, began to worry when his sister revealed she was battling insomnia, losing hair, and struggling to afford her 900 Un unhygienic flat square. You see? The, the, her brother already knew something was wrong. You see? When Fong didn't show up for a job at a charity campaigning for female education, y'all still y'all still believing in Sleazy's education? You women are stupid as hell. Y'all got the highest debt of all college people in the world. You got you got the most evictions of rental properties in the world. You see the largest debt in the world. Your bank accounts on on dry. Your bank account dry as hell. You, you barely got five dollars in your damn bank account, but you got all these damn shoes. She should have sold some of them damn shoes. You see, she didn't answer her phone. Let's say you know they went to her house and found her there. You get the story, man. Depression and all that. <laughs> you should have had a man. Let's go to the next one. No, you, this one had, this is freedom. We go through this all the time. You are so like women. This is what freedom looks like. You see, the end results you offer yourself because that pl that pressure is going to be applied. You see, and you didn't talk shit to every man that tried to approach it. So you already see what it is. A man became in front of with his coworker. Here we go. Here, he, here it is. Here, here we go. The spirit's creative event. A man became infatuated with his co-worker. He then copied her key and deleted her when she came home for lunch. Ain't that some shit? Ain't, look, look. Ain't that some shit? You see, a man became infatuated with his co-worker. She was probably playing around with the man. They ain't going to tell the whole story. They're not going to tell the whole story. Tell the whole story. What do they say? The truth and nothing but the truth. Right? She was probably flirting with the co-worker. He then copied her key. How the hell did he get a copy of her? How the hell did he get her key? You see? Said he copied her key. Would she just laid it down somewhere? With that, you women that damn careless that you just lay your key down any damn where? He then copied her key and deleted her when she came home for lunch. Ain't that some? Ain't that some? A New Jersey man would spend more than half century, you know what I'm saying, which is 25 years. Well, no, no, 50 years. But behind bars a connection with the hacking deletion of co-worker he became obsessed with over three years ago. You see? And so forth and so on. Y'all see what it is, man. In the news, look, look. How did this man get your key? That's the only thing I want to know. Care, you care, rise up, you care, women. But if you had a man at home, this wouldn't happen to you. You see? You look, another single woman. You see? He, he got a copy of her key and he went to her crib and waited on her to come home for lunch. You see? And this is where the freedom. Remember, Israel, this is freedom. This is freedom. Look, 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 look at this psycho. Look at this psycho. 
You know we got it. What the hell is that? A zit on his nose? What the hell is that on his nose? What the hell is that? This, this dude, you do not want to run into this dude right here in the news. You do not want to run into a guy like this, man. All right? You do not want to run into a guy like this, man. And the Irish woman is going to run into a guy like this. Or the Irish man that's walking around, not paying attention, walk circumspectly. Not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. You're going to run into a guy like this. Look at him. He's psycho, psycho, psycho. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, it look like he didn't get them Dumbo ears. Look, he about to fly away somewhere. Look, look, look. Monster tied his own mother up. He tied his own mother up, man. Then remember, the love of many shall wax cold, man. You see? And, so, and somebody, one of you brothers can put the definition of, of, that, of that scripture too. That St. Matthew, the 24th chapter. The, the, the one, the verse about the love waxing cold and put that definition up for the word cold. These people are really losing it right about now, man. Monster tied his own mother up and held her prisoner before she made desperate escape. A menacing son. See, this is what happens when you don't beat, the, beat your damn kids. You see, you let them grow up and they, they become monsters. But you can blame Sleazy E for that because he made a rule, you know what I'm saying? He passed a law to where, you know what I'm saying, if you hit your kids, we're going to call you an abusive parent. Because he wants your kid to go out there and be a lawless bastard, you know what I'm saying, so he can end up disciplining them in prison and he can make money off of them in prison. You see? We're not ignorant of none of Satan's devices, right? A menacing son tied up his terrified mama with computer cables and threatened to pour boiling water over this is the madman, a psycho, man. He demanded his mom transfer 10000 to his bank account. It's all about money. Remember, the love of money is a real Let's just get that right quick. Let's just get that right. Matter of fact, let's show his picture one more time. Let's just show his picture one more time. I, I want y'all to see his picture, man. This dude right here, so he wanted that money, man. He wanted that money, Israel. You see? Let's get this, man. The love of money, man. What is it, First Timothy? Let's just type it in. Love of money, man. He tied his own money, mama, man. Ain't nothing wrong with having money. Love of money. It's the root of all evil. You see, when you're willing to do anything for money, you see, he tied his own with, with, with cable cords and she couldn't even get loose. Didn't try to, but she, she made an escape. He said he was going to pour that hot water over too, man. He, he didn't care. Yeah, it was First Timothy Khan. First Timothy chapter six, verse 10, for the love of money, not having money for the love of money is the root of all evil. Which while some covered Arthur, you see, he was covetous. He wanted something that didn't belong to him. He wanted something that belonged to somebody else, a.k.a. his mama. While some covered Arthur, they have erred from the faith, which he didn't never have faith. And pierced themselves through with many sorrows. And then he's about to do, and then the phone chimed in. Now he's probably about to spend the rest of his life, man, over what he did to his mom. And I, I want to get that too. This, the love of many is waxing cold. The, your main enemies are going to be they of your own household. Let's get this. St. Matthew, the 10th chapter. Let's jump on down. St. Matthew, chapter 10, verse um, 34. Think not that I'm come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, which represents destruction. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father. And the daughter against her mother And the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law And a man's foes, meaning his enemies Shall be they of his own household You see? So you're going to see more of this This ain't the end of this This is just the beginning of it, man You're going to see the love of many Then started waxing cold already The spirit's creative avengers is, is going down Look, he wanted his mama to transfer that damn money, man to his bank account When he kept her prisoner for three hours and 40 minutes in her home a court heard, then she then managed to untie herself and bravely escape through a living room window at the property property in the hall. You see? This is, and you can read on into the article, but these are the things in the news. It's in the news. And look, we just now started, man. You see? Damn. We look a little more, more judgment. What the hell is going on? Georgia woman found deleted in car dealership reportedly deleted by hitman hired by ex-boyfriend. You see, here we go again. Here we go again. This, this is a freedom. Women want the freedom to be able to ride that CC, that car carousel. They're messing with every, every dude they see. Ain't, ain't trying to settle down, but then you got a crazy psycho man and then fell in love with you. And then you want to break it off with her. But this is the end results of it. 
This th that DNA, dick and attention. This is the end of seeking D and A, woman. You see? What did we say again? Georgia woman found deleted in car dealership. Reportedly deleted by a hitman hired by ex-boyfriend. A Georgia woman was allegedly deleted at the order of an ex who is reportedly still on the loose. That spirit creative avengers still on the loose. You see her name. A 34-year-old woman was found deleted on December the 9th in a Smeenville car dealership where she was employed. Who was was banged by a man who was allegedly hired as a hitman by her ex boyfriend and former business partner. You see, and you can and you can read on, man. Hey, look, look in, in the news, in the news, the spirits creative event in the news. Look, we're gonna, we're gonna go on. We're gonna, we're gonna go on. Let's, let's, let's see what that. What the hell is this? What the hell is this, man? So somebody tell me, what the hell is this, man? I don't know what the hell, what the hell is this, man? Tell me, who who wants to run into a guy like this in the alley? Who the hell, who, who the hell, I'm going to say it again, who in the hell wants to run into a man like this in the damn alley, man? All right? You see, who in the hell want to run into something like this, man? This looks like a damn alien for real, man. This is foreign as hell right here, man. He modified his damn head to look like E.T. E.T. phone home. What the hell is going on, Israel? You said, look, look, only in Babylon, man. And he got a chain, he got a chain, a beaded chain around his throat. What the hell is wrong with these people, man? What the hell, Lord? You see, just when you seen, when just when you thought you seen it all, man. Just when you thought you seen it all. Hit the news. Hit the news. Hit the news. Look at this dude, y'all. I just want to leave his picture up there. What the hell is going on out here? Just when you thought you seen it all, you end up seeing this. You say, what the hell is going on in the house? What the hell is going on? You see? The hell is going on, man? I don't know what the hell that is, man. That on, he uh, shit in between the damn predator, and, and I don't know what the hell is going on. You see? He's in between the predator, and I don't know what the hell is going on. This is, this is true, man. You see? The, 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 you know this Babylon, man. Everything tattooed. Look, everything. He turned himself black. You see? He's an eater, Mike. He turned himself black. Everything. He got everything tattooed, man. Look, look, black alien tattoo addicted, barred from restaurants. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> they barred them from restaurants. No shit, Sherlock. You see, they need to bar, they need to ban you from the earth. You know what I'm saying? They need to put you on your own planet. So you can just roam around all you want to by yourself, man. All right. You scaring people, man. All right. You scare hey, everything black, even the phone. Damn. What would it say over extreme body modifications, man? Damn this dude. He didn't he didn't took off his damn nose. He didn't took off his damn lip. And this dude got many followers too. Body modification with tattoos and piercings is becoming more and more acceptable and common. Like, yeah, exactly. Because we're in Bizarro world. We're in Sleazy E's world. We're in Babylon, the land of confusion. So, of course, everybody's accepting this. But a man that just go to work, you know what I'm saying? Work a nine to five? Look, look, he ain't cool enough. He ain't, he ain't extreme enough. But girls go crazy over this dude. You see? This dude right here, he probably got women washing his drawers and everything, bringing them lunch. You see, he probably, he, he got women paying his rent and everything. He probably don't do shit. They're probably paying for the tattoos and everything. You see, what it's saying, it's becoming more and more accepted and common, but those who transfer, transform their body can still face discrimination. This dude is through. Look, look at this dude, man. What the hell is going on, Israel? What the hell is going on, Israel? You see, this dude is through. This, that's what I'm saying. He got a green eye. Look, I got half his nose cut off. What the hell? What the hell is going on here, man? What the hell is going on? We got to get the hell out of here, Israel. You see? What the hell is going on? We got to get out of here, man. All right? We got to constantly pray to the Lord to help and get us the hell out of here, man. You see, it's just too much now, man. It is it is too much, man. And the scripture is going to us not putting tattoos on ourselves. This, this is far beyond gone. You see, this, this is a cycle right here, man. All right?
I don't even know what scripture to bring out right about now for this right here. This is madness. I, I don't know what the hell to bring out now. I'm lost for words, man. Any more pictures on this psycho? I'm really lost for words. I think it's another picture of him. Oh, yeah, look, look, look at him. Look at him, y'all. I'm, I'm, I don't know what the hell. I don't even know what scripture to bring out for this. He got, he got his teeth blue. Oh, man. He look evil and only evil. I, I don't even know. If brothers can put up some, that they can put up some. But I don't know what the hell to put. I don't know what scripture to bring out on this right here, man. I don't know, man. I'm lost for words, man. I'm lost for words. What the hell is this, man? You see? He told us, he look, look at the top of his damn head. What the hell is going on up there? You see? He, he, look, he put a big ass lump on the top of his forehead. Now look, this, this man's a demon. This is a demon right here, all right? This is a full-fledged demon right here, Israel. And look, look, and, and an Israelite woman going to love him to death. You watch now. You watch now. He going to have one of the baddest Israelite women on the face of the earth, you know what I'm saying, up in his apartment. You see? Damn. An alien look has helped his confidence. An alien look helped his confidence, Israel. And he added, there are people that said thanks to me as they feel more secure now. You feel more secure being around, around a dude like this? Are you serious? You mean to tell me you feel more secure being around the dude like this? I see a dude like this. I'm hauling ass. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? So look, someone, someone, thanks, thanks, bud, to me. And they say they feel more secure. That now the looks that they give from other people don't bother me. He opened up about his struggle to get a job on look, look, no shit, Sherlock. No shit. Who wants to who wants to hire a man that looks like this? Are y'all seeing these pictures, man? Is there any more on him? Just look at him, man. This is, this is a crazy picture right here, man. You see? And that ain't even the crazy one. This is the most craziest picture I, I have ever seen on the face of the earth. This is it right here, man. Sleazy E, you are through, man. All right? That, that's really, that's a spirit right there, creative adventure. But we're going to go on, though. We're going to go on, though. Just when you thought you seen it all. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we've we seen this already. Unless it's another one. Is this, is this another one? Is this another one? Let's see. I think I brung out this before already. They're just showing you who the boy was. But we, we, we'll read it right quick again. And, and, and brother, put up them crocodile emojis. An extraordinary moment. Crocodile carries boy, body of, of a boy, four down a river. Rolling on a river. The spirit creative of Venice. This is an extraordinary moment. A crocodile carries the carries the in, intact body of a four-year-old boy to rescuers a mile away from where he drowned in a river in Indonesia. Damn. Damn, man. The boy name, whatever you want to call him, has gone missing two days before near the blah, blah, blah. Start, startling footage from the Makahaka River. And I know I butchered that word, but it don't even matter. Shows the gigantic croc swimming through the water, carrying the youngster on his back. What the hell is going on? Baffled fishermen spotted a 10-foot reptile as it swam nearly 700 feet across the something bay towards a boat. Let's read on, though. The reptile normally... Normally one of nature's most ruthless deleters dropped the boy by the boat where two men are seen pulling the body aboard. Is, it, is he dead? It meant that the family could be re reunited with their son. Let's see. Did the crocodile save him? We think the crocodile actually aided in the search of the victim. Nothing is missing. Everything is intact. Damn, ain't that some? That, that's the spirit of the Lord, man. Had a crocodile come down and down a uh, shit. What did it, it say? How many miles? Let me see. Let me see how many miles. Let's see. He, he, he carried on. Well, let's let's see right quick. What did it say again? Nearly seven hundred feet across. You know what I'm saying shit. That, look, that's the spirit of the Lord. Then carried this boy that was missing. You know what I'm saying for like two days. And look, that's the Lord right there, man. And th this is a miracle right here then. You see? I thought that the crocodile had deleted him. You know what I'm saying? But this is a miracle right here. The crocodile carried the boy. Oh, yeah, they got a picture of the boy on the back of the crocodile right there. Still intact. Damn, ain't that some? That's the spirit of Yahweh Bashim. See, miracles like this are going to be. See, we're living in a time of miracles anyway. To where these animals are going to be protecting the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Everybody else, they're going to devour them, man. You see? 
Matter of fact, let's get uh matter of fact, what is that, Joe? What is that? Is that Joe? The beasts of the field are gonna be at peace with us, Lord. When are we up there? No, let's just get this right quick. I think it's Joe, the fifth chapter. I'm thinking. If I'm wrong, brothers can put it up there on the board. Where the animals are gonna be in league with the whole elect of the nation of Israel. Let's see if this is it. Job chapter five. Let's see. Bear with me. While well, I look through this right quick. Yes, yeah, Job five. Job chapter five, verse um, I go straight to the point. Um 22, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth, for thou shalt be in league with the with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. And you've seen that example in that story, to where the little boy, you know what I'm saying, climbed on the back, or the little boy four climbed on the back of the alligator, man, and the croc, you know what I'm saying, took the little boy to the police, man. That's the spirit of Yahweh Bashim I'm going to read this again, Job chapter 5. Verse um, 22, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. But that woman couldn't handle going a couple of days without food. So she offed herself, but the whole filet is going to laugh in that day. The Lord is going to have a cold spirit on them, whoever they are. Lord willing, we of that number, man. At destruction and famine. Look, look. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Might might run into some lions. These zoo animals are gonna get out too. You might end up running into some lions, tigers, bears. Oh my! Some silverback gorillas. Who knows in that day, man? But they're gonna be at peace with you. Why? Because they're gonna see that the wall on you, man. That mark of exemption. That spiritual mark of exemption on you, man. You see? They're gonna see the spirit of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, shine on you, man. They're gonna go on by their business. They're gonna protect you, man. Make sure you get to, to your destination safely, right? It says, um, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beast, the beast, man, of the field shall be at peace with thee. So that, that, that's a story right there, man. You see? It's a miracle. That's a miracle right there. But yeah, that dude, you know what I'm saying? That shit was crazy. But let's get here. Let's go here. In the news, let's, let's go here. Let's just go here. Look, look, Alabama airline worker was stu was stuck into engine so violently, plane shook. You see, she got stuck inside of one of the engines, man. You see, Alabama airline worker was sucked into engine. I said stuck. It sucked. Sucked into engine. Into an engine, man. So violently plane shook man the plane actually shook when she was going through that thing being shredded to pieces man what 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 the hell was she doing over there by the engine though especially you seeing it getting ready to come on then you know they have no sense whatsoever the airline worker who who was deleted after being so violently sucked into the engine of a recently landed plane the plane had landed you got at least wait till the damn engines cut off woman the hell is going on you see the engines still on and then you're gonna go run out to the damn plane you're supposed to wait till ain't nothing moving you see once again, this is what you would call independent. This is the end result of being independent, though. Because if she had a man, she would have, she would have been an ass at home, got in the household, taking care of them babies. Dangerous, dangerous ass job like that, man. But, but no, y'all can do anything a man can do, right? Y'all equal, right? Dude, well, this is equality for you, right? Equal lefts, equal rights, equal deletions, right? You see? Damn, it was so violent that the plane shook. Into the engine of a recently landed plane, it shook the engine. It look, no, it shook the entire aircraft. Was was a mother of three. She was a mother of three. Why didn't she have her ass at home? You a mother of three, and had been repeatedly warned to stay back. Look, look, that hard headed ass nigga woman. She was repeatedly told to stay back, man, stay away. She was warned several times. Matter of fact, let's, let's just get it. Let's just get it. She was warned, man. All right. I knew something was up with that story. I knew something was up, man. You see, give, give them a warning each and every day. You know what I'm saying? They, they ain't taking heed to the warning because they can do it. In, they don't listen to nobody. This is the end result of the woman not listening to nobody, man. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Look, the people said they gave, they gave a warning several times. Repeatedly gave this woman warning. Stay away from the engines. You see? 
Now, look, look, she ain't got to never worry about her engine ever again on this side. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them one from me, the one in going forth. She even had her managers warn her, stay away from the engine. Stay, I mean, I mean, what, I mean, no common sense whatsoever. The, the most I really deprived her of knowledge, for real, for real. And somebody can put that up too. On all aspects of life, the most high has deprived that woman, that Israelite woman, and women in general of knowledge. Just shut up. That's why um the elder um, apostle um recall call them dildo heads, man. Straight up dildo heads, man. You got the warning, the dude, you know what I'm saying? Your, your company, your managers, everybody told you, stay clear. Look, look, many times, you see? But but then look simple and know of nothing. You see, she look look just simple, just clamorous. Let's see if I can get that. You see, just clamorous. Let's just see. Yeah, there, there it is. Let's just see if we can get that right quick. Then I, I spelled it wrong. When brothers get a chance, put that scripture up there. She's clamorous and know of nothing. If y'all haven't already put it up there, she's clamorous and know of nothing, man. Okay. Let's see if I can get it. Know of nothing? If I spelled that right. I don't even think I spelled that right. Let's see, though. Not know of nothing. Know of nothing, man. Let's see. Let's see if I can find it. If I can't find it, one of the brothers put it up. I didn't, I didn't mean to type no north either. That thing changed my words up. Let's see. She's simple and know of nothing. Can brothers put that up? There, there it is, the water, bro. Proverbs 3, the water for the brotherhood, man. Proverbs 9 and 13, a foolish woman is clamorous, always talking. Instead of talking, let's go, let's go back to the article. Instead of her doing all that damn talking, she should have been doing more listening. She would have been alive right about now. And look, look at that face. You know I got to blow it up. Just look at that face, man. You see, a, a face only a mama would look. Just look at her, man. This is mean as hell. Mean as hell. Ain't, ain't listening to nobody. Got that big ass hairdo. You know what I'm saying? All that damn weed. She ain't listen, look, big ass nose. She ain't listening to nobody. She ain't listening to shit. That um silverback gorilla nose. She ain't listening to nobody. Got them lips stuck out like Aunt Esther from Sanford, uh, from Fred Sanford. She ain't listening to nobody, man. But let's get this one more time. Proverbs chapter 9, verse 13. A foolish woman, not a smart woman, but a foolish woman is clamorous. Always running that mouth. Yap, 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 yap. All the time when you got your manager telling you, stay away from the engine. You see the engine spinning why the hell you and she got sucked into that thing it's too late now it's too late now she is simple and knoweth nothing but then they say the woman matures faster than a man well hell all the men on that job should you don't really hear about a man being sucked into the engine of an airplane it's always a woman you see a couple of months back, you've been hearing a whole lot of cases of women being sucked into the damn engine you see the engine on stay your ass away from the engine you see you see, it's a hot fire over there. Stay away from the hot fire. I mean, duh. No shit, Sherlock. You see? The Most High deprived her of wisdom, man. Job 39 and 17, because the Most High have deprived her of wisdom. But she said she is the smartest being on the face of the earth, right? Neither have he imparted to her, to her understanding. See, if she would have had some type of understanding, she would have known, look, 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 that's an engine right there, you know what I'm saying? And it's twirling around fast as hell. Let me stay away from it. Nobody shouldn't have to warn you to stay away from a damn spinning engine, you see? But she was warned. Look at that face. Look at that face. Oh, look, a mother of three. The leader. Hey, look, let's go back to the picture again. Big, big as hell. Look, look, she went through the damn meat grinder then. Oh, oh, big bitch, you know what I'm saying? They don't listen to nobody. You know she was ruling over her man. You can, Her man can tell her, look, you know he's a simp. You can tell she's she running over him. You can tell she ruled the house or old Grace Jones looking at him. Biatch, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Grace Jones looking. You know what? They told her to stay back, man. And had repeatedly warned to stay back. But no, no, you, you can't tell her. Nothing. And they got the airplane right there in the picture. You know what I'm saying? Just suck their ass up, man. The tragedy occurred on New Year's Eve. Look, look, on New Year's Eve. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. I think that's happy birthday. But anyway, happy New Year to you. You see? It happened on the New Year's, man. The victim was later identified as 34-year-old Courtney Edwards. You know what I'm saying? A woman that then never listened to no damn body who worked as a ground agent for Piedmont Airlines. And then it's on you now. You see? 
They, they, they told you multiple times. What the report notes that Edwards failed to heed multiple warnings to stay back from the Indians while the plane was shut down. You see, they warned her. Look at that. Look at that mean ass face. She ain't listening to nobody. So, so judgment had to come upon her, right? Judgment had to. Go, there's judgment, man. Good man. Nobody got to never worry about her not listening ever again. You see. Ever again, man. We gotta never worry about listening to her. She ain't gotta worry about you ain't gotta worry about nobody saying nothing. Shut your damn mouth or none of that. I know her husband probably happy. He probably sad a little bit, but I'm pretty sure he happy, man. All right? Cause you know she if she ain't listening to the co-workers, she she ain't listening to her manager at work when she went to the end of, she usually listens to Sleazy E at work. If she didn't listen to a Sleazy E at work, you know she damn sure didn't listen to her husband at home. You see? So her husband probably thinking the Lord right about now, man. Let that big bitch gone, man. Job chapter 4, verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish, being innocent, aware where the righteous cut off. Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. She reap what she sowed, man. And that's a horrible one right there, man. That's a horrible deletion right there. Being sucked into a plane engine? Damn. Damn. But the scriptures say the famine is going to be worse than that. That's a that's a horrible deletion though, being sucked into a damn plane engine and that bitch going this this the meat grinder, man. You see? Proverbs chapter 32, verse 39. And it reads, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I kill and I make alive. I kill and I make alive. One more time. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. See, that's that final destination deletion right there, man. That's one of them final destination deletions, man. And then look, and it's gonna get worse, man. My phone keep going off too, and it's gonna get worse, Israel. All right, we haven't seen nothing yet, man. We we ain't seen nothing yet. Second Ezra chapter fourteen, verse sixteen, and it reads: For yet greater evils, meaning more bad times than those that thou which thou hast seen happen, shall be done hereafter. So you think you know what I'm saying that's a horrible saying? Her getting thrown into that end. That thing so How close was she, man? She must have been dead up on that thing, man. You see? She must have been dead on that thing to get sucked in. Like, said, said the whole plane shook. You see? All that fat, them big ass bones being crushed. Said the whole plane shook when Big Shirley, Shirley, when Shirley got sucked into the engine, man. The whole plane shook. Shirley, it won't nothing but a Shirley. That's all it was. It won't nothing but Shirley, man. You see, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 31, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Job chapter 19, verse 29, be afraid of the sword. For the wrath bringeth punishments of the sword, that ye may know that there is a judgment. And remember, the scripture say, um, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evils shall not overtake nor prevent. Then they warned this woman several times, man, to stay away from that damn plane engine. Why would somebody have to keep warning you to stay away from a damn engine? This big as hell. And it's a potential um, chance of you being sucked in it, never to be seen. And look, and you know them body parts, I'm saying flesh was being spat everywhere, man. You know it was guts, brain, Ass, titties, feet, you know what I'm saying? Everything, lips, eyeballs, brain, everywhere, all over the damn plane, all over the plane, all over the plane, all over the plane, man. You see? And this is a result of you not listening, man. Let's get this though. And look, and, and Israel's gonna hear about a story like this, and then you're gonna have another woman get close to the damn engine. And the same thing's gonna happen to her, and that they ain't gonna never listen. The, the, the Israelite man and the Israelite woman, they're not going to listen, man. So we're here just to warn the hopeful leg of the nation of Israel. Now, we give the warning out, but we know only the hopeful leg is going to take heed to the warning. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5. And look, and I only brought out like four or five articles already. I, didn't, I ain't even got any deep in it yet, man. Let's go, though. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5. The just Lord, the righteous Lord, is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning, do if he bring his judgment to light, he fell of not, but the unjust nor of no shame. And then the scriptures say, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is holy, let him be holy still. 
And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And the Lord say, I'm coming with rewards. I'm coming with rewards, man. You see? Matter of fact, let's get another one. Let's get another one. Let's just get another scripture. Let's see. Remember, the, the Lord said, think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send a peace, but to destroy, man. You see? Damn. Hard, uh, what is what, what saying going in the world? A soft, um, what does it say? Um, a hard head makes a soft ass, man. And you know her guts and everything was flying everywhere, man. You see? That's a lot of damn flesh right there, man. That, that engine was spitting out, man. You see? 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. Let's just get this. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. The, the Lord really hated that woman. You see? The Lord, for, for you to receive a judgment like that, the Lord really hated you. You see? 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. Because the scripture said, there shall no evil happen to those that fear the Lord, but you don't fear the Lord, you receive a judgment like that, man. 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. And we're showing you articles of the terror of the Lord. So we're persuading you, Israelites. we threaten you with the words of the Lord. Let the scripture say, fear, fear not me, Israel. You still don't fear the Lord, right? All this judgment going forward, you still don't fear the Lord, right? But we are made manifest unto the most high, and I trust also are made manifest in your country. You still don't fear the Lord. All this judgment going forward, and you still don't fear the Lord, right? What, what is it going to have to take? Is it going to have to take for you to get sucked up into something? You see? Just, just, just suck right up in it, man. And she, look, that engine must have been spinning like hell, man. Seriously, look, and she was probably about 300 and some change. There was a big block right there, man. She wasn't small by a long shot. She was big as hell, man. And that engine, where the hell was she at for her to get sucked in that engine? I, I, I'm, I'm still lost for words. How the hell did you get sucked in that engine? You, you was doing the most. Nobody couldn't tell you nothing. Probably had them long ass nails. She probably had them long ass eyelashes. You see, and you, could, you couldn't tell her nothing. Probably had, who, who knows, man. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 12. For man or woman also knoweth not his time. As the fishes that are taken in the evil net. And as the birds that are caught in the snare, which is a trap, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time and a bad time when it falls suddenly upon them. And that thing fell suddenly upon her, man. Being sucked into an engine? Oh, man. Being sucked into an engine and have your whole body guts and everything, you know what I'm saying, just splatter everywhere, man. You see? Amos chapter 3. Verse 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? What is that trumpet representing? Us blowing his word, bringing his word out week in and week out. Remember, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Y'all hear us out there on the highways and byways screaming to the top of our lungs and you walk past each and every day. You see, so what, 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 what was that in, in Georgia? Was that in Georgia? I, I gotta, I'm going to go back to the article and find out where it's at. Because it's Israelite camps throughout the four corners of the earth, man. And she was probably one of them mockers and one of them scoffers. Remember the Lord said, I'm going to mock when your fear come. You see? And then, then the Lord got, got us mocking that woman, right? What does it say? Should there be evil, meaning bad times in the city, and the Lord have not done it? Sure that the Lord power would do nothing, but he revealed his secrets and to his servants, the prophet. Let's see where that incident happened at. Let's just see. Is it, is it going to show? Is it going to show what happened at? I, I don't want to see her face no more. When you see, she mean as hell. You can tell she mean as hell, man. You see? Got that big ass nose and that mean ass face and all that damn weed. Yeah, look, you, you women with hairstyles like this, you look silly as hell. Just know that. You just like women walk around with hairstyles like this, guess what? You look silly as hell, man. All right? Walking around thinking you look cute. What, oh, this happened in Alabama. You got GMS, Alabama, Birmingham, Alabama. You see? She mocked the prophets, man. You know she mocked the prophets, man. And this is the end results, man. You can suck violently into an engine, man. Stay away from it. Stay away from it. But she didn't want to listen, man. That's the end results of you not listening, Israelite women. It's going to be more of this, man. Let's see what else, man. Woman, um, look at that. Kelly Innocent Seven deleted mom Emily Maul by a pack of dogs. Damn it! Damn it! It's going down. Teeth, remember, teeth of wild beasts. Kelly Innocent Seven deleted mom Emily Maul by a pack of dogs in Ohio. You see, damn. Is it going down or what? A seven-year-old boy from Idaho was mauled to deletion by neighbors for dogs. 
which also injured the child's mother when she tried to shield him from the animal. You see, Tiva Wild Beast, the brutal attack took place around 5 p.m. Saturday on Fourth Howe Reservation, located more than 200 miles east of Boise. You see, damn. They were staying in an RV on Sandy Road when the boy went outside. See, see, uh, independency again. Here we go. Another another case of a woman being independent with just the boy. You see, another woman being independent, just her and her son. Stand, that's what I'm saying. You see, everybody, this is the end result. See, this is freedom. Once again, women, you want to be free and you took the man out of the household. Look, look, even Edomite women are doing it now. Look, 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 everybody falling out of that end of. Everybody wants to be independent, right? Everybody can do bad on their own, right? No no one needs a man, right? And look, if she had a man, I, I, I guarantee you them dogs wouldn't have got on that boy like that. You see? Because that man would have known what to do. She going to lay down. The dog's mauling her, her little boy to deletion. And the only thing she going to do is try to just lay on the boy. No, beat the hell out of them dogs, man. That's common sense. Pick something up and bust them dogs upside the head, man. But, but no, a woman ain't thinking like that. The most I deprive her of wisdom, man. So in dire straits, she ain't thinking about it like that, man. See, if you had a man around, you know what I'm saying? that man probably would have popped them dogs, man. The, your son would have been alive right about now, man. And your ass wouldn't have been mauled to, to damn near deletion. Another independent woman, man. All right? You're you going to learn, man. What, what else, man? Popular DJ found strength, um, you know, uh, throated, you know what I'm saying, to deletion and suitcase dunk and skip as police hunt for boyfriend. That's what I'm saying. That, that was like, she was found in a suitcase. You see, popular DJ found, um, you know, around the throat. Would you say that right there? Because we can't say that word. You see the word to deletion and suitcase dump and skip as police hunt for boyfriend. You see, living that wild life, the wild life. You see, she got found inside a suitcase, man. All right. Once again, whoever perished being innocent. All right. And then let's go to the next one. Man accused of banging pregnant ex fiance in Amazon parking lot faces deleting charges out of nine. Damn, man. You see? Damn, man. Ex fiance. These women, y'all, you women, y'all breaking up with every damn body the Lord seeing y'all, right? And this is the end results, man. Trying to ride, ride that cock carousel, man. You Israelite women, get with one man and sit it down, man. All right? Get off the cock carousel for a change, man. Man accused of the, of banging pregnant ex-fiance in Amazon parking lots. You, you can read into that. Damn. Look, look. Woman sentenced to life for luring a strange husband to bang, fatally banging him on Valentine's Day. Woman reveals she ran over her baby daddy's new girlfriend. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You didn't want the man. And as soon as the man uh, gets rid of your ass, then that's how you know you're going after the new woman that's treating the man better. Woman reveals she ran over her baby daddy's new boyfriend. See, in the kingdom, it ain't going to be no such thing as a baby daddy and a baby mama. You see? All, all, Babylon, man. That's what, another reason why this place got to burn, man. You see? This is what it produces, man. You see? Ran over the man, new girlfriend, man. Did, I want. Did, did she delete him? Let's look, 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 look through it right quick. Did she delete him? Their relationship failed. The man got a new woman. You see, and that's how you know she's seen a new girlfriend. That's how you know she she had a jealousy. Jealousy comes in many forms, as do other forms of negative emotions. Come on, man. Just look at this shit, man. Running a damn woman over, man, because he wanted to move on with another woman. Look, once again, the Hebrew Israelite man, the Lord said, I'm going to make him more precious than fine gold. See, that Hebrew Israelite man is going to have as many women as he wants. He's going to have as many wives as he wants, and he's going to have as many concubines, me, the heathen nations that he wants. Get used to them sayings right there, you Israelite woman, because you don't run shit. You see? Man is the gift to the earth, and you're the gift to a man, all right? You're God's gift to the man, all right? The Israelite man is the prize, okay? The Lord's about to make him more precious than fine gold, not you women. You had your turn. Now it's our time to shine. Sit back. Get in the back seat, all right?
Get in the back seat, sit down, and shut up. You see? That, that's what you do. What, what the hell is going on here? These people are looking crazy as hell. I mean, look, look at them, man. What the hell is going on here? Uh, sleazy E is through, man. All right? Sleazy E is through, man. All right? You, you know this is through, Israel. You know this through. You know this is through, Israel. This is through. This is too through. You see? Damn, dude. You see? What the hell is going on with Sleazy E, man? And they're going to be looking worse than this in the kingdom. You see? 81-year-old Alabama. What, what's going on with Alabama, man? 81-year-old Alabama man accused of. Look, look. Damn. Another one? Damn. Another one? Another woman gets her uh, somebody's hand round her round her neck too. Another one, damn. And look, and he was eighty one. Then you know right there. No matter if you're young, no matter if you're old, everybody's tired of these tired of these damn women. Everybody is tired of you. You even got these old whores still running their mouth, man. And this is the end results of you running. See, sleaze E, you you causing a whole lot of people to get deleted too. You know what I'm saying? You see, you know, yeah, everybody's equal. So now everybody's receiving equal rights and lefts now. You see, 81-year-old Alabama man accused of, you see, his wife to deletion and trying to delete himself. He didn't give a damn. Remember, a silent and loving woman is a gift from the Lord, man. Shit, 1.30 in the damn morning, his damn wife just running her damn mouth. You see, 1.30 in the damn morning, man. We you have you should have been um I don't know what they had to say about a um uh old eighty one year old work. You should have been sleep. You see, we're gonna put it like that. You should have had your old ass sleep, man. All right, and we just read St. Matthew. We just read St. Matthew, the tenth chapter, the love of many, west and cold. Well, we didn't read that scripture, but we read the verse, you know what I'm saying, about um a man's foes shall be they of his own household. We we did read that one. Let's get this Sirach. I'm going to bring out about two more articles, and then I'm going I'm to wrap it up. You see what's going on. Whether a man is young or whether a man is old, everybody's getting tired of them damn bitches, man. Everybody getting tired of you, man. You see? Ben, look, look. And you know that if the men on the earth are tired of you, how much more the Lord? How much more the Lord? You too damn old to be running your damn mouth. You see? You thought you could get away with it because you was up in age. And you young, you young whippersnappers. You think you young so you can just get away with it. And the Lord ain't playing with nobody now. The Lord getting it in now. Sirach chapter 39. The Lord is getting it in now, man. Sirach chapter 39, verse 28 in the reads, There be spirits that are created for vengeance. There was a spirit created for vengeance, Israel. He had that look on his face. He didn't give a damn. You, you see, he still had the blood on his face, man, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they poured their force and appeased the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell and, and famine. Look at them Jeffrey Dahmer spirits, that dude that we just showed them, all the men that we just showed on the screen. You see, that woman got sucked into an airplane. Guts, blood, fat. Liquid everywhere, man. Brain, brain molecules, everything. Teeth, everything. Eyeballs, everything. You know what I'm saying? It's going through that meat grinder, man. AKA that engine, that plane engine. You see? And you know that thing was twirling fast for her to get sucked in that thing. And she was about 300 pounds getting sucked into that thing. She said it was so violent. You know what I'm saying? She went through that thing so violent. The whole plane shook. A plane, man. You know how big a plane is? Uh, the whole damn plane shook. Damn, fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts. We just read about the, dog, the boy being mauled to deletion. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to deletion. All right? Punishing the wicked to destruction, man. Everybody I showed in this article want none of them innocent. You see? They shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth. When need is, and when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. The spirits created for vengeance, they're active, Israel. Matter of fact, let's just get this. Let's get the evil angels. One, one, of, one of my favorites. Let's just get the evil angels, man. All right? It's already queued up. Let's just get that. In the news. Let's just get this right quick, man. Let's just get it. Psalm chapter 78, verse 49. Let's just get this. He cast upon them the heavenly father, right? Through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, right? He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger. Remember, the Lord said, I'm angry with the wicked every day. I'm angry with the wicked every day. 
the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and indignation, meaning righteous anger and trouble by sending evil angels among them. See, the Lord putting spirits on men and women, you know what I'm saying? Evil, wicked spirits, you know what I'm saying? To delete these people. Let's blow his picture up one more time. This is a spirit, and you, you can tell, look at the look in his eyes. He didn't give a damn if he went to prison. He said his life is over with. Anyway, his wife probably been giving him hell for the last 60 years. You see? And he's 81 now. He said, I don't give a damn. Just lock me up. I'm better off being locked up in prison instead of being around her ass. You see? Men, men don't mind going to prison no more. You can tell that he was tired, man. You see? And she probably been putting them red marks on him. And he said that hell with it. I'm saying, I'm taking you off this earth. You see? Just, just look, he didn't give a damn. He 81 and he tired of the shit. Everybody's tired, man. Look at this right here. Look, look at that's what I'm saying. Bear with me. Ah, I had to get something to drink, Salaki Israel. Listen, 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 listen right here, man. You see? Drunk woman. She was drunk. Blame it on the alcohol, right? Blame it on the alcohol, alcohol, alcohol. Blame it on the alcohol, right? Drunk woman mauled by a lion. She was mauled to deletion by a lion after climbing fence. Look, look. Deprived of knowledge. You see this? Look, look. Deprived of knowledge. You see? Deprived of knowledge, man. She got so damn drunk, she hopped over the fence of a lion, man. Look, look drunk woman. A woman now. Not a man, but a woman. But oh, yeah, hey, the woman is smarter than a man, right? Mauled by lion out the climbing fence at zoo into a big cat's enclosure. Now, what the hell would make anybody in their right mind, which you can see she won't in her right mind, climb into an animal's cage like that, man? A damn lion. What the hell is she doing at the zoo drunk like that, man? What was the workers at? And then, look, shit, you had several cases of these end dubs just climbing right over the damn fence talking to the lion. And a lion looking at this woman like, yo, who is this bitch? You see? What the hell is she doing in here? And shit, the lion's like, yo, I only want to attack her. Ew. She, she like, she don't even taste good anyway. But in this resort right here, she was mauled, man. Look at that lion, man. Just look at that line. She climbed into, to, into a cage with something like this in it. Then you know right there, these women have no sense whatsoever. They, they, don't, they don't have a clue of what's going on in the earth. You see? Have no clue whatsoever, man. And, and, and a whole lot of you Israelite women and men are going to have to face a beast like this soon come, man. Remember, teeth of wild beasts. The terrifying moment as intoxicated woman climbs into a lion's cage. At, at a zoo before being brutally mauled has been captured on camera. It was captured on camera. It was actually recorded, man. The women going over the fence, drunk as hell, being mauled by that lion. It was all captured on film. I wish I could see it. I wish I could see it. You see? I wish I could see it. Look, the trespasser was attacked by a big cat named Ast Astroto. You see, in a terrible incident in Russian zoo, the woman, look, the woman survived though. Damn, what the hell is it? What, what the hell is these women made out of steel or something? What the hell? What is a robo woman or something? The woman survived, all, almost lost her hand and, and is now in the hospital. No shit, Sherlock. The statement from the zoo said that in frozen conditions, the woman who was in a state of intoxication had provoked a lion who subsequently attacked her and injured her hand. He, sh he should have just ate her, man. Why didn't the lion eat her, man? The lion should have ate her, man. Eat her next time, man. That, that should go right there. Ain't that some shit? That should go right there. That, that, they got her drunk ass go right there kicking at the lion. Oh, yeah, that's one of them Russian bitches, so you know they tough as steel over there. That's her. They got a lion right here on the ground, that little dark spot. That's the lion, and that's her kicking at the lion. You see? 
He should have. What lion? Why didn't you take her damn legs off, man? Next time, eat her legs, man. And look, and that's the woman being mauled to damn deletion. You know what I'm saying? And look, you got. So that's what I'm saying. The women say they don't need a man. So why you got two men come to her rescue to get the damn lion off her then? Thought you ain't need a man. Why didn't you get yourself off that damn lion? Why didn't you get the lion off you? You independent. Remember, you don't need a man. But you got two men hauling ass over there trying to get you from being deleted by the damn lion. That ain't going to never learn. You know, nothing you'll never learn. 17 year old banged in the head while taking trash out to nearby dumpster while circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Dang. That's what I'm saying. Over and over and over and over, man. That's what I'm saying. Look, look. Judgment out of 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 judgment, man. You see? Look at this. Delete, deleted Oak Cliff teen deleted by 22, 22 year old boyfriend who seemed indifferent. Right? Just, just can't, can't stop riding that cock carousel. Three bang, three bang deleted at convenience store. Suspect and standoff with SWAT team. Is it going down or what, man? Is it going down or what, man? All right? Decomposed body found in rodent infested home has been there over nine months. Damn, rest in ate everything. They, they go, they go to eighty one um chum again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Looking like Fire Marshal Bill. Let's see what else, man. Cause, I, cause I'm about to wrap it up. You, you see what's going on, man. You see? Damn. What the hell going on there? Damn. Damn, pig. Look, look, that's what I'm saying. Here, here, here we go again. Here we go again. When animals attack, y'all can put a bunch of pigs on the screen. Oink, oink. Pig deletes butcher. You see? You had the pigs delete the butcher, man. 61. After walking up and knocking him over in rage as slaughter out. No pigs got tired of getting slaughtered, man. The pigs are getting tired of being slaughtered, man. All right? Ain't nothing wrong with the pig. You don't supposed to eat it, though. You see? Ain't nothing wrong with the pig. The pig is a garbage disposal for the earth. You don't supposed to be eating no pig. You is like that outside out there. You don't supposed to eat no how Booster said poke. You don't supposed to eat no poke, man. All right. It's a garbage dispensal of the earth, man. All right. Pig the least butcher. 61 after walking up and knocking him over in rage and slaughter out. That pig right there took vengeance, you know what I'm saying? For all the other pigs that butcher deleted, man. That's all that was. That was a spirit created for vengeance, man. You see? And deleted his ass in the slaughterhouse, man. You see? A 61-year-old butcher was deleted and by a stunned pig who lashed out at him after suddenly regaining consciousness. You see? Ain't that something? They stunned the pig, you know what I'm saying? That's they know the pig, you know what I'm saying? Regained consciousness, you know what I'm saying? And, and rammed the man and, it's, and deleted him, man. And deleting them, man. And that's a beautiful thing, man. That's a beautiful thing, man. And it's going to be more of this. No pigs are going to come hunt you people down. And look at that pig. Look at that look on that pig. Like, you, you better leave me alone, bitch. You see? That pig laughing at that man. That's, that's the face of someone mocking you right there, man. That pig is mocking that dude. Look at that pig. He, look, look, look. Come for me if you want to. Y'all see the look in that man's eyes? You see? <sighs> These animals ain't playing no more. These animals are tired of you, Sleazy. You see? They're tired, man. Let's see. Let's see what else. Damn. Boy 15 takes father's car out for a joyride, smashes it into eight parked vehicles. Why? Because he, he looked, if the child would have begin his ass whoop when he was small, he would have never did that. But these kids don't get disciplined, man. No one disciplines these kids. Man found guilty of deleting dismembered girlfriend and hiding her head, hands, and feet around the lake. Shit is getting real, Israel. Shit is getting real, man. Man found guilty of deleting, dismembering, ex dismembering girlfriend. I need ex girlfriend, dismembering girlfriend. And hiding her head. He hit her head, man. 
Her hands and feet around her damn leg, man. You see? That's one of those spirits created for vengeance, Israel. It's deadly serious, man. This is one of those spirits created for vengeance, man. You can see it, and he don't give a damn. You you cut a woman's, no saying, um, top, um, uh, the thing that's sitting on her shoulders. You 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 take that off. You saw most definitely wrong with you. Then you took the feet off. Then you took the hands off. This dude didn't give a damn, Israel. And this is what the majority of our people are gonna run into. You're gonna run into a dude just like that, man. Rochester, New York. A 41 year old man was recently found guilty in deleting his 37 year old girlfriend in 2021 and and dismember her body, man. All right. He dismembered her. Look, look, all these judges, man. Texas high school teacher, youth pastor among fifty, among nearly fifty arrested in prostitution scheme. Look, 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 this is a church pastor though. This is who the end of love. You see, she is it gonna show his face. He'll eat him right. So they, oh, there you go. There you go. He, he look, your local church pastor. There you go. You look, your local church pastor. This is who our people believe in. You see, they don't take heed to the men that the Lord set up. This is who they do. They believe in, and he was running a prostitution ring. You see. You see, he was a, he was a whoremonger. He was running a prostitution ring. But this is who our women love. Sleazy, man. All right? That's their daddy right there, man. And then, look, a, a church pastor, man. Because all, all them church pastors ain't nothing but crooks. All right? He was a high school teacher and he was a youth pastor. Among nearly 50 arrested in prostitution ring. Look, look, only in the news, right? In the news, only in the news. Look at Erica Badu, Hunter Horse's daughter, man. And look, as, as the mother, so is the daughter, man. All right? Two birds of a feather flock together. They ain't, ain't got Y'all seen the picture already. Erica Badu, you know what I'm saying? And her daughter, still trying to show their backside. Erica Badu, you should have been sitting down. You know what I'm saying? Walking around with videos, naked as hell, through the streets. Sugar Daddy deletes his 25-year-old girlfriend. Oh, here we go. Another one. Uh, another one, man. Deletion on top of deletion. Deletion on top of deletion. Deletion on top of deletion, man. You see? Damn. Man terrified to find 100 giant spiders hatching inside car as egg sac burst. Damn. And you see it over and over and over and over again. It, it's not going to end, man. All right? It's not going to end, man. Look, 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 look. A hoe going to be a hoe. A hoe. She ain't got no damn arms. Nothing. Look, still trying to be a thought. In a triple amputee and, and a hot model, nothing holds me back. That's pride. You see? You ain't got no damn arms. You ain't, you damn near ain't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? Shit, one of your legs gone. You one of them, I'm going to get you, sucker bitches. You know what I'm saying? And you still trying to twerk, still trying to shake your ass. You know, I'm an inspiring model. Nothing's going to hold me back from showing my neck. It's just through. Look, look at him. Look at him. That's what I'm saying. Oh, the hoarder, man. It may be known in her eyelids. No matter what the Lord took her through, she just got to show that body. And people are paying big bucks, you know what I'm saying, to see a woman like this. Is she beautiful? But, but look what the Lord had to do to her. Look, look, that pride. Just look, a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, man. See, me, give me that watermelon. I'll take that damn watermelon and that damn pineapple, though. I will take that damn watermelon because that's my favorite. i take that watermelon. You see? Give me that watermelon, girl. Uh -uh. The hell with you. Give me that watermelon and give me that damn pineapple. I'll take that. But you can go on about your business. But look, this is the end results, no? This is the end result. We just go back, man. Look, look, look through. Through. So she says nothing's going to stop her, man. She's all the way up. Just going right back into Amos 9 and, um, and 10. And I'm going to bring out one more scripture and then I'm going to wrap it up. Y'all see what it is, man. Hordom still being promoted, you know what I'm saying? And a whole lot of deletions are going down. You see, damn! Look at that, mom and boy. Look, I, I gotta bring, I gotta bring this out. Look at, look at this shit. I gotta bring this one out. It, it, it's just uh, over and over and over and over and over and over and over, man. Mom and baby mauled to deletion by a damn polo bear. You see, that was camouflaged by a snowstorm. You see, damn. Put up the bear emojis, brothers. Look, look, mauled by a damn polo bear, man. You see.
And if you can't find a polar bear, just put any damn bear up there. It don't even matter. Mom and baby mauled to deletion by polar bear. There was camouflage by snowstorm. You shouldn't have been out there anyway. With a little baby, what the hell is you doing outside anyway? You see? And then I think I, was like, well, I think it was either it was either a bear or a lion. You know what I'm saying deleted um, two people, and then they, then they went inside the store. You know what I'm saying to delete somebody else, man. You see? Damn. See, look, they were attacked during a 150 yard walk from a school to a health clinic in the time of whales. That, that, that bear damn sure put some whales on your ass. He whaled on your ass, didn't he? Located f just below the Arctic Circle. So that's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm I'm saying, man. You see? It is going and it, it truly is going down, man. Damn. Teen gets deleted in freak accident during toilet stop. You, so you can't even go use the bathroom no more without something happening. You see? Damn. Look, look at this. Teen nearly goes blind when boiling pot of chocolate explodes. Damn. All kind of judgment, man. Just judgment on top of judgment. Cops caught on video stealing $6,000 from a New York woman. That's what I'm saying. You see? Just over and 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 over. What the hell is going on there? West Virginia man accused of, you see it, napping and burning women with torch. Ain't this some shit? This is my last one. This is my last one. I just want to show his face, man. This is my last. Can, can we get the face of the dude? I just, I just want to see the face of the dude. Look, look at this dude. Look at this dude, Israel. Look at this dude right here, man. You mean to tell me a woman actually talked to this dude? You see? A woman actually talked to this sleaze mic? This is a true eater mic right here, man. You see? This is a real, a real psycho. Remember, the love of many shall wax cold. You look up that definition for the word cold, it goes into psycho. You see? These spirits created for event. Just look at you know this dude through. You know this dude is through, man. All right? He looked like one of them wrestlers, the weed whackers. He looked like one of them wrestlers from, from way back in the days called the damn weed whackers, man. I think that's the name of them. The damn weed whackers, man. You see? Damn, Israel. Damn, Israel. You see? I, I just leave. I leave that up. I, I'm, I'm about to close it out. I leave him on the screen, man. I will leave him on the screen. Hey, look. Delete your judgment. In the news. Judgment on top of judgment on top of judgment, Israel. Let us all walk circumspectly. Not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time, Israel, because the days are evil, Israel. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of great millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here for a bear. In the news, Shalom.